The following segment is sponsored by Martin Harding and Mazzotti. Welcome back, everyone. Freedom of speech was thought to be so important by the founders of our country that it is addressed in the very First Amendment of our Constitution. But after deadly weekend clashes, the ACLU has come under fire for defending this right on behalf of rally organizers. Now, here to help examine this issue further is Rosemary Bogdan from the law firm of Martin Harding and Mazzotti. Rosemary, thanks so much for being here. Good afternoon. You know, unfortunate that we have to talk about this, but the ACLU is generally seen as a group that stands up for human rights, um, but they've kind of come under some fire defending uh, the rally organizers. Yeah, it's a it's a interesting um, development that's happened here. But what I think everyone needs to understand is the ACLU is a defender of liberties and a defender of rights in general. And so the right we're talking about here is the right of freedom of speech and of peaceful assembly. So. It wasn't that they were endorsing the content or the message. It was the right itself to be able to speak freely. Right. So, OK, I'm glad that you bring that up because uh, clearly th there are some limits, though, on free speech and, uh, you know, times when it just goes too far. Right. And, you know, certainly in this country, there is no unfettered right to freedom of speech. Um, there are all sorts of examples where it isn't allowed. For example, you can't shout fire in a movie theater because that would actually be criminal because you could actually cause you know someone to get harmed you can't um, give death threats you can't to um, promote illegal drug use in a school setting so um, speech is but it's 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 um, contained to um, things that could cause direct harm now would a you know nationalist uh, type rally fall into this unprotected category that you're kind of talking about here, you know, especially in the light of some of the violence and the injuries that occurred over the weekend? The, the free speech, the ability in our, in our First Amendment to speak freely is, is protected, but the violence is absolutely not. All right. Yeah. Rosemary, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. a lot of helpful information. Yeah. Thank you again. We do have to uh, turn over